All right. Hi. Oh, hi, everyone. How are you? It's hey. Shannon Port. It's so good to be here. Just making sure um, that we're all set up. So if you're here, oh, good to see you and a couple thumbs up already. <laughs> oh, my. It's so it really, really is such a happy occasion for me to be live today on YouTube for Mary Magdalene's uh, feast day on July 22nd. If you're OK, so I see some hello from Scotland. How perfect could that be? So, so, so happy to have you. Um, I'm actually watching the series Rain right now with um, Mary, Queen of Scots. So I've been thinking a lot about Scotland. Um, okay, so I just want to say welcome and let you know that I have been away. And um, I won't talk too much about that, but I was gone. Um, at, you know, the last videos I made, I had every intention of being here really quite often. And I mentioned that there were, there was a lot of interference and contraction happening. And so I had to step away for a while and, um, it just so happened that I had just finished the three month mentorship that I did at the beginning of 2021, we did January, February, March. And because I was having all that interference, I, I really needed to step back and decide how to go forward. And I've done that. And it's been a really, really, really powerful time. It's been also a very intense time in the world. And we'll talk about that. But um, I had the opportunity I had planned after the mentorship was over to take a couple months and go off grid. And I went completely off grid. I had two months without a single notification. All of my social media was off. All of my text and social media um, notifications were turned off. And so I went into a place that I hadn't gone there in that long in a very long time. And what I discovered is that that is another world. Like that is literally, if you exist in that space, you're no longer in the world of the collective. And it's it's a very almost eerie place to be because you realize how much in just in the past 10 years, we've crossed over into this very um, digital and mind-based world that we interact from. So what happens is you really get to experience the heart energy and see the difference between these two worlds. And I'll talk a little bit about that. So this is what we'll do today. I want to, we're going to go into the, this is the goddess report. So we're going to do the download. Um, today is we'll be channeling Mary Magdalene and Magdalene is, oh, yay. So nice to see you. Magdalene is the patron saint. We call her the patron saint, but she is really the, um, she is the goddess of light body yoga. All of the the whole platform I teach, we we honor Magdalene as being the the archetype of this work that we do, and that we are truly, truly her initiates, and work with her energy. And so, when I tune in with her, as as I will today, when I read this goddess report, I just merge in with her soul consciousness and being part of that soul group. I'm it, it's it's very um, it's a very fluid communication, and so it's not that we're channeling her and that she's here and she's present. But when I sit down and tune in, it comes right forward. It's it's so present because it's really the the um the guiding light and the guiding archetype in these times that we're in. So it's so good to have you here. Oh, a couple people from Ireland. Do you guys know each other? <laughs> so happy to see them. My homeland, my motherland. Um okay, so be sure okay, the other thing I want to say is that I want to hear from you today. And um I didn't get this haven't sent the notification for this um, live stream out. But if you're here, please, I, I'll, I'll be um, focusing on this while I read, but then I'll go back. Somebody please remind me. I want to, um, oh gosh, I haven't seen you in ages. This is so much fun. Um, I'll go back and I want to look through because I want to have a little bit of a, a Q&A back and forth and see where you're at because it's been a long stretch. And this is really, well, you'll see. I'm going to get into this and read it. And at the end, we'll do the light body stargate. So nice to have you from Canada, beauty. Um, light body stargate is a practice and a meditation. It's a meditation activation. It's really powerful. Light body stargate. I was given a particular meditation to do today. 
that I use it whenever I work with my women in, in Light Body Woman, which is the, the, the main platform that I work with when I do the women's teachings. And um, we always tune in with the Stargate, the Magdalene Stargate. We, um, we tune in and we go into a space where we're all harmonized so we can really work together and, and call in the power of the word, the power of the heart the power of vision, the power of true seeing and the true senses. We're captivated, we're captured in this envelope of the five senses, which doesn't allow us to really perceive the truth in each other. But the light body stargate is is a practice that's really powerful to take us into the space of communion and sacred union with one another. And so that being said, um, before I, um, ah, so great to see you. Wow. Oh, so great to see you. Okay. So we'll tune in. We'll do, we'll do. I am in the seven directions before we start because it's been a while. I'll give the goddess report. I might teach a tiny bit and then we'll do the light body stargate um, activation. So in honor of Magdalene, in honor of the solar feminine light, we're going to do diamond mudra right at the heart. And so we're going to access the diamond and, um, we're going to just, I want you to imagine right now, I want you to just see into your heart and see the sun, the solar feminine radiance of Magdalene's soul fully resurrected and alive within you, in your heart center, merged in sacred union with the Christ. These are two archetypes of soul and spirit, and we see them in the bridal chamber, in the holy tabernacle, in the heart in union with each other and the sun is shining bright today it's a really really the archetypes of today are profoundly powerful this truly is a portal today i don't know if you can feel it but there's been a little bit of a um a letdown of some of the compression i could feel it immediately and so for this portal so just connecting with the sun in your heart And then we're going to see that sun emanating into your field, creating your your light body field. We're going to create the Merkaba and we're going to create the Star of David in our Auric field, which is just a way to, with the power of your own word, claim that space, claim that sovereignty. Um, Working in the seven directions is a sacred and holy way to call that in it's been used in some of the most highest traditions in in all of the time cycles but it it truly is an activator of our presence and of the divine word the divine logos power within us so seeing the sun within you and now seeing it emanate into your field this will take about a minute we use we'll use the mantra i am as the sun And so just repeating after me and harmonizing with everyone here, I am before me. I am behind me. I am at my left. I am at my right. I am above me. I am below me. I am unto me. Please take a deep, deep breath in. Breathe in all the way. It's really, really beautiful energy right now. It's a lot of solar light. Hold it. And exhale it all out. And we'll seal it with, I am, I am, I know, I am. I am, I am, I know, I am. 
I am, I am. Okay. All right. I had found some some extra writing that came in last night when I was in bed. Once I knew I was doing this, I couldn't stop. The stream comes on and it's so powerful. Okay. I'm going to do the first. I'm going to do this one. I'll do this first and then and then I'll do the I am Magdalene activation for today. So this came in last night. We live in a sea of projection. This is the goddess report through Magdalene. Um the name Mary, Mary means bitter sea. Mem. It's the Hebrew letter Mem. And it's the waters. It's the ocean. It's the great water of existence. It's the firmament. It's the great substance of the goddess where all her archetypal forms live and dwell. And in our case, it's part of this underworld that we live in of the soul as well. It's why it's bitter. <laughs> the underworld of subconsciousness. Most pro projections in this world are sourced from ego and pain bodies that do not know the true self. So when we think about we're living in this bitter sea, most of the projections, the images we see, are sourcing from the ego and the body of pain, which is the ego is the, the, the contracted version of the mind. It's it's the false light. It's the um, it's it's the part of the self that fell and created its own reality, and it believes that it's constantly under threat. It constantly has to defend itself. It constantly has to attack so that it's not attacked. So that's ego. And even when we're living in um, you know a relatively peaceful state, that ego is always there. It's the devil in the background waiting to tempt us to strike, or that strikes us through other people. It's very closely related to the uh, to the underworld of the subconsciousness and the body of pain because it it receives its um it has a really back and forth relationship. Pain wounding triggers ego, ego triggers more pain and wounding. So and and uh, we live in this world where the projections are happening from those who do not know the self, which is the Christ or the Christic force, the I am. Mary Magdalene was saved by the inner Christ. She became the divine feminine Christ force. She, by purifying her vessel and becoming the ultimate vessel of truth, the divine feminine truth, she was the first to see Christ after the resurrection. The veil was lifted and she saw her own divine image. When we resurrect, we can see the state of the projected world and recognize the zombie consciousness and the sleep state of humanity, the utter fixation on projections that lack the wisdom of Mary Magdalene and the Divine Mother. The wisdom of the soul vehicle to perceive spirit in this world, the solar force and the solar substance that is the true substance of creation. Oh, so nice to see you, all of you. Um, okay. The wisdom of the soul, because the solar reality is already here. It's already here. And that's what we're going to talk about later today. Um, but more and more humans are slipping into the inorganic digital matrix which is void of the goddess's wisdom. The attack world is the sleeping world. When an awakened shining one meets another shining one, there is a divine recognition. Cosmic energy ignites. It's, it's like two or more gathered in my name. When two people that have turned on the Christic light and they have it shining within them meet, there's a recognition that it that ignites the eternal divine love of soul and spirit. So, and, and then I, and I jotted down, I don't have this quote, but it's a Bible quote. I don't have it. If anyone knows it and wants to put it in the comments, that would be great. There's a Bible quote. I forget which, which guy said it, but it was about how... Nothing matters without love. It doesn't matter. Nothing 
is real without love. The whole vast creativity of the cosmos, which is create a creative projection, all of our, our, our tech, all of our inventions, all of our so-called progress, and all of our um, advancement without love, it doesn't mean anything. In other words, it's not even really recorded in the true Akashic record of the soul because anything that doesn't have love just eventually has to fall away. This is the age of love. And ironically, not ironically, but it's the age of Aquarius is the age of invention. It's the age of genius and invention and technology. But all of this technology has to be attached to love and wisdom to give it true power and true meaning. Everything in this world that that's not is, is just going to create bondage. And we're seeing that happen. And we're seeing in the Magdalene reports goes deep into that. So um, the other thing was, um, this was a, a, a quote that came to me. Um, this is an ACIM quote, but it's, it's that profound quote in A Course of Miracles that says, um, the holiest place on earth is where ancient enemies have become friends. I think that I'm just paraphrasing it, but the holiest place on earth is where ancient enemies have become friends. I want to say one thing about that before I go any further that I have been having so many experiences over the past few weeks, but one is that I've, I've, been able to go into that space we're talking about in that quote, it's a literal vortex. And when you're in that vortex, you will, you will feel um, the God presence so alive in your aura, you won't believe that you ever had an enemy. Because when something happens, and this is what we're all trying to achieve right now, we're trying to harmonize and do polarity and integration to know what it means to have true forgiveness true surrender and to, to surrender our judgment so that we can have love. If you just take any, just take a moment, think of any situation in your, in your life that's really been either an old challenge, an old enemy or an old trigger that's still alive somewhere in your subconsciousness or something right now that really gets you. And for some reason, there's this friction and the, there's this um, challenge between you and that person. If you can ask um, to receive the necessary conditions. And sometimes what brings the conditions is actually, you know, what, what's interesting. And this is what, this is why I'm going into this on the planet right now. Oh, thank you. It looks like someone put the quote it's first Corinthians. Yeah. I believe it was Paul. Um, the, what, what people are going through tremendous suffering right now, tremendous shock, tremendous loss, and tremendous loneliness, even wandering through this underworld, people are really wondering if they can make it. I mean, in, it, it's off and on. But when you look around, just about everyone is going through some kind of personal crisis or growth. And it's been today feels so good that it's hard for me to even access that energy because the, the energy is really heightened today. But, um, the, you know, there's been a passage of a couple months where everywhere you look, it just feels like tragedy. The planet, for one, when you look at everywhere, South Africa, Cuba, you know, the, all over, things are just erupting everywhere. And um, we could go on and on with that. And just the, the earth changes. The whole earth is changing right now. And it's connected to, there's different reasons, but wanting to bring, it's to wake human beings up because eventually it's, we're all going to wake up, but it's, it's to heal. We have to heal. We have to, we have to heal. We have to stop the way of politics and the way of the world that we live in now. And it's all going to change, but we're, I'm shown and we'll get it. I need to switch back into this frequency. We're going to go through some very, very serious changes. The, re the, the goal of today is to give a portal that you can use so that you can come into these energies of knowing the truth and so that you have a tool to use to get you through. It's going to, okay, we're going to read what Magdalene has to say. Let me just see if there, I want to do this. Magdalene carries the weight of the world. She does the alchemy with us and for us, and she teaches us courage and strength. Courage and strength. We're going to need a lot of strength. But let me tell you, when you gain that strength of doing the deep, deep, deep alchemy, you, you think you're not going to make it through, but every time you get stronger.
stronger and stronger and you know what it's like to be the goddess walking alongside the lion. You know what it is to have tamed that lion and then have it be your best friend because all the ferocious strength and power and roar and are in now in you and you walk without fear. Fear is now a thing of the past. And that is where the the soul groups, the, the energies that are working um, with us, there's a planetary hierarchy and another hierarchy and a galactic and on and on and on right up into the heart of the divine mother are, tr- are trying to really help those those souls that have the potential to carry this energy to really get there during this passage. And this passage between now Magdalene Stargate today and up to Lionsgate portal and beyond in for the whole next year and a half are going to be a really heightened time, but up to Lionsgate, this is a supercharged solar initiation for all of us. So Listen, if you have the ears and the the heart, the lion also activates the heart. The lion's heart is fierce. Um, We've tasted the pain and suffering of the underworld, and we show up to claim our power and activate divine love and wisdom. We We don't back away from our mission. We hold the line. We face the emotional struggles and the desires of the world. In doing so, we unite with the mother deep. Magdalene carries the wisdom and the sacred fire of the Holy Shekinah, the mother spirit of the, of the, of the um, divine temple. She gives us the divine blueprint for the sacred chalice template and guides us meticulously as we lift the veil of ignorance to activate our cosmic receptive technology. We are the receivers of the central galactic waves of divine sound current that find resonance within our own heart chamber. Oh, I have something fun to tell you about that. We are the receivers, but all this alchemy is so that we can truly be the receiver. It's not, it's not just something you can say. And it's not something that happens here. It's so full body. It activates all of your bodies and it makes your heart truly, truly come online. And um, in it, in it, puts you into this. I think I wrote in the write up for this. It puts you into the new matrix, the heart matrix, where communication with other beings is of such a higher order. There's no more aggression, ego, war, deception. We speak like music and we understand each other and we're, we're humble. We're so humble, but we're so the one who carries the lion force within them is humble. They don't even have to be arrogant. Their nobility is in their purity and is in their humbleness. In fact, oftentimes they're very quiet. A lot of the wisdom is underground right now because of the world I mean, even coming on to do this, there was like a big preparation. The a lot of this is taking place underground. By underground, meaning in the inner chambers, and so a lot of you may be doing work that the world is not visible right now to the three D world because of that contraction, and even the one that I experience. But that work is sacred and holy. Do not underestimate it. Do not feel alone, even if you feel. Um, I, there's periods where we're very isolated. And, and when, when that happens, there's a sacred initiation that happens when we're on our own and we're in isolation. And that is, um, that is, I've done a lot of writing about this just in the past couple of weeks. I'm going to see if anything of that wants to be shown right now. The inner, the inner meditation is to receive the holy fire and that is a process that, that Magdalene talks about, too, that we have to go inward to receive the divine fire, to, um, to purify and activate what we have inside us. That fire doesn't come from the outer world. It comes from the inner world. And so that's why sometimes when everything is stripped away, it's so that all those things can just fall away, any addictions, any vices, anything, even the the mental patterns. Sometimes if you're alone long enough, you're, it's so painful that eventually you're like, wow, everything's gone. It's all been stripped away. 
The goddess is doing that in various ways right now. Some people are having to really go deep in relationships. Some people are alone. Some people are dealing with their worst fears in the world. But just know it's to rewrite your program. It's so that you can find your way in and and receive the gift of what we're going to talk about. All right. Magdalene has gone before us to create a pathway that can be found only, always perfect timing, only as we sit with the mother deep silence in humility and surrender in this sacred, sacred energy, in this sacred, sacred space and divine reverie. I'll say that part again. Only as we sit with the mother deep Silence in humility, surrender, and divine reverie. Okay. Wow. I didn't know I'd be reading all that. I'm going to take a peek down and then <laughs> we've got more. So um, we've got Magdalene's voice herself. So um, yes, yes, it's hermit mode. I didn't want to say it because God knows I've done my dance with hermit mode for years at a time sometimes. And um, I know there's others of you who know what I'm talking about. So let's see. Yes, all of it, all of it, all of it. Okay. Oh, nice to see you. Portal jumping. Yay. Okay. All right. Anyone here who wants to write anything in? Um, nice to see you from UK and Mexico. Okay. All right. So I'll go right into this because then I want to do the light body stargate activation. So this is the I am Magdalene. Okay. I'm going to have you all say, repeat this with me before we, before we start. I'm just going to have you, um, let me get, take one sip here. Okay. Just repeat after me to activate this, to get, to get it on, on online here. I want you to blend and just say, I am Magdalene. I am Magdalene. I am. All right. This is serious, what I'm about to read. It's a little more heavy. The world as you perceive it is merely a projection of your own sleeping consciousness. You currently live in the lunar world of shadow archetypes. You project these shadows from your sleep state and they return to attack you, to scare you, and to deplete and usurp your sacred energy. On this day, my soul calls to you from the core of the cosmic heart. I call to my brothers and sisters and to my initiates to look beyond the shadows for the truth. Pay attention, wake up. It's time for you to return to the knowledge and gnosis of the greatest of all laws. The law of love. It's time for you to return to the greatest of all laws, the law of love. The law of love is my alchemy. This alchemy is steep and it requires you to go all in. This alchemy is steep and it requires you to go all in. Eventually, each one of you will complete this sacred journey and join in the celebration that awaits you upon your return to the kingdom. Avalon, I just thought of that. For some reason, that word's meant to be in there. Now I call you to meet your mother, our mother, in the depth of your soul. This is really, really, really important. This is the call to meet the mother, to seek the silence 
that you hear the sacred music that plays within your soul. The noise of the shadow world has become very loud and is emitting the discordant tones to hold you down. At certain times during the cycle, there is a great battle between the inorganic empty shell program, it could be called the archontic program, and the divine music of the soul. The lower frequency is run on the lower motion, on, on the lower emotions and the polarity world of the ego and the body of pain. So that's a that's a that's an energy source. Um <laughs> okay. These two are the inferior lovers. Okay, that's pretty powerful. These two are the inferior lovers, the, the ego and the body of pain. They and they feed the matrix of bondage. They they give it the energy to survive. They keep your divine stargate, the Magdalene stargate, hidden from your awareness. You must understand Christos to open your heart. I am Christos Sophia. I am Christos Sophia. I am Christos Sophia. This is a divine archetype. And um, it's 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 much, it's way beyond religion. It's universal. And it that that word alone activates all the archetypes that that are in correspondence to that archetype. And there are many, every lineage, every stream of mem has its own. Um, archetype. And I have gone before you to unlock the golden gate and the solar fields of infinite creative light. This portal is the divine balance, but you not dare to lift the veil until you have surrendered to the mother deep and handed over what was never truly yours. The alchemy of this underworld is but a shadow of truth. Once you see it for what it is, you will walk away from the rulers of this program, free, liberated, and joined to the collective life with a capital L of all beings. This is the resurrection or the ascension. The digital world has, has, has harnessed your attention and is building authority in the matrix. This is very important. The digital world, the AI world, has been harnessing your attention and is using it to build authority in the matrix. To, have, to, to hand over your attention is to create a siphon of your life force. This force mimics the heart, but it lacks the sound codes of the heart of the goddess heart. It is a synthetic duplicate that seeks to duplicate all organic life. Do not be fooled. The doors to the inner realms remain open for now, but you must act while you still have the opportunity for sovereignty and for a sovereign connection. This connection is your only true protection. We are undergoing a collective experience where the masses are being pulled into this world. The communication platforms have lost their way and are becoming the arms and legs of this shadow world or even the shadow creature. We're going to go back and talk a little bit about this. Today I tell you, today on her feast day, I tell you that sacred union with Christos, this divine light, the I am, that's why we do I am in the seven directions, the divine word, the logos within you will activate your central sun and clear you of those seven negative forces and demons that I cleared. Those are the forces, the demons, that block your awareness. The heart is the key. 
when the heart is on, there is a unified field that you step into. When the heart is really on, you step into the, the unified field is the new, um, it's the new world. And um, it, and then she says, and this was really serious. This takes practice. This takes practice. You may taste it and fall back. You need the strength and the courage of the lion to keep going. You must keep going. I will work with you very powerfully in the days leading up to the Lion's Gate Peak Portal. You must change your vision by handing over the vision of the shadow world. Let it go. Begin to notice how your world is a direct reflection of your thoughts and dreams. But I am speaking through this world as well. This is so big. You will see in archetypal goddess coding what you are meant to do. It will come through divine silence and music and nature. There will be peace and reverie in your hearing and seeing. It will be humble to this world but great and powerful and mighty in the world beyond this world. This is the great victory. My alchemy is the great feminine alchemy. This is what we work with in, in Light Body Woman, the divine feminine alchemy and, and Light Body Yoga and requires full understanding of emotions. This is really important. Um, this has proven to be the most difficult for humans and the most hidden. This is our trap, the emotions. The emotions are trapped. That's the goddess trapped in the underworld. The underworld uses the goddess to play games and cause pain. It takes the most sacred and inverts it to be used as fear. Fear is the constant state in your world. It is behind everything you now hear and see everywhere. It is consuming everyone in its various spectrum of frequencies. We see, we see the world of pleasure and pain, but where is the wisdom? So what this means is that we either see the delights and everything just glossed over and really beautiful, or we see fear. When you look on social media, what do you see? You see the ultra like, um, you know, materialistic and I, and, and just like the feminine forms that are ultra, you know, have that desire force energy around them in their field, or we see the, just what is unfathomable and hard and painful. And there's really no, um, the wisdom is what we are, what, what all of this is about the wisdom. When you are wisdom, you will begin to carry that forward and understand where we're going right now. So now we're going to, okay, if you don't recognize, okay, if you don't recognize the vibration, it will be hard to advance in the coming times. So this is what all my work has been about the couple past couple months is that we have to really, really, um, really be able to recognize what we're seeing. It's so powerful. And I've been having some pretty big upgrades to my own vision. I'm going to share some of that with you. So I'm going to take about, um, oh, it's so great to see you. Ah, wow, ladies, so nice to have you, both of you. Um, and welcome. Yes, exactly. All right. So, 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 okay. So, so now I'm going to talk about a couple things. All right. So this is what I've been experiencing more than ever. And I'm going to share this with you. 
this world really, when we call it a projection, I know I don't take that lightly. And this is, this is really the Magdalene alchemy. And then we'll do the light body stargate meditation. So the, the Magdalene alchemy is, is um, we're, we're purifying those portals, but the heart is the grand, the grand master of it all, the, the high priestess of it all. And Magdalene is truly that priestess. So we, when we begin to, it takes a long time and a lot of perseverance and strength to get there. It would be great to be able to just say, oh, I get it and have it. I could go back throughout my, my life in this cycle. And there's been many times where I saw the light and I, I, I had the amazing experiences of union and what would to some would say, oh, this is, I'm enlightened. But the feminine alchemy does not stop there. There is, we're carrying the, the weight of the emotional body that is having to be, we can't ascend without it. And it is this sacred um, portal in the heart that, that will have the wisdom to do our emotional alchemy. We, a lot of feminine alchemists and initiates are, 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 have came in holding the pain of the planet and the memories, the mem, it connects to the Akashic record, which is in the heart. And there's lower there, of course, there's the lower chamber and then there's the higher, but in order to clear these things and really open those portals, it, we have to we have to get down to that last thing that last pin that we have to pull until it opens um and that has taken some work and oftentimes when we're doing that work we feel forgotten we feel like we failed we feel like um we're co- because time is also the feminine we might feel like we're trapped in time and we're getting old and we're going to lose the opportunity there's you name it and we'll talk we we can even talk about tr- time and and um age and our journey at some point as well but as we begin to um we get stronger and stronger and then we can see through it we can see through what was felt like such a hard task and challenge it gets easier it gets easier because it's not that we've denied it we've but we've gone through it and so what you want to do right now is what voice in your head plays the role of the devil? What is the link that this archontic force can latch in and get you? We all have one until the very end. There's some where you feel like you have to hide or where you feel deceptive. I'm giving this to you to just think about for yourself. Where you, do you deceive yourself or deceive others? What makes you feel unclean or unholy or unhonest? And then we're distinguishing between what is real and needs to be dealt with and let go and what is just shame cast upon us because the archontic force is very, very tricky. It will take a wound you have and use it and morph it into many. It multiplies. It loves to multiply images that are hollow. And that that come after you. And so it it will trick you into thinking that you um, it will trick your self-worth. It will it will try to get you to attack because once it gets you on its side, it can use you. This is something I've said in past videos, but all of the um, sinister and negative energies that are in there, they're really here big time right now, have to work through a human vehicle. So they have to be able to latch in and and get someone to use their energy body. And so if you are, if you carry goddess wisdom, you are a high priced target because your power is so great that when you slip, if you throw your energy negatively against something, it's much more powerful than perhaps others who haven't done a certain level of work. So you want, that's why it becomes very precious for us to, to, to be aware of our sacred field, to own it. And really it gets to be so, so second nature that we have to, we, we don't, we no longer have to think about it. And this is some stages that I've been reaching into in the past few weeks. So what happens is as you, as you make it through something you never thought you'd make it through you, you kind of re-engage and all of a sudden you can see it's almost like cardboard figures moving around and acting and you can see the sleep state that that they're 
hooked into either an addiction kind of matrix or a, or way too in the technology matrix and haven't checked in with their heart often enough. And so we begin, that's what I experienced when I went off grid for two months, it was rare to my energy changed so much that I barely met anyone that could even see me because I was in the old world and, and was also in, because I've spent most of my time in nature was really vibrating really high and I could poke in and connect. But I, what the reason for me doing that was to observe it's a different world and it's getting more and more so. And it's just being run by the mind. And so once you can see that, you can all of a sudden see that everything you see is coming from within you. And it get the time between you having a thought or having a feeling, everything starts to talk to you. And I mean, everything. And you might, you can't be aware of everything at once because that would be overload, but it's always in the periphery kind of trying to get your attention. And there's the, the negative force trying to get your attention, but there's also the guide, the high guidance system. And lately I've had that come through in ways where I just had to just like roll back, kick my feet up and laugh so hard because I was like, wow, it's really here. Like, like that presence of when we talk about the goddess, the divine mother, those beings that are watching over all of us, those pres that presence of energy, it's just, it's, it's all in this mental universe are really here and really paying attention to you. So when you know that you can just be in your heart and we get, we get so pulled into the dark and by the dark, I mean that place where we can't see, we begin to doubt and doubt is really, really, well, when you doubt hard enough, you sometimes get, we wake up to, because you've gone into such deep pain, you can't help but go back the other way. But doubt sabotages us, but we have to clean our field. I was just talking to one of my friends about this. Um, we have to keep our field clean. So when you become aware, you have to just start getting used to doing house cleaning. When you're not in your highest you have to you you have to see it and and have a ritual to clean it just meaning like let it go let it go see it and say ah okay that personality part of me is still doing that it's okay i see it see it from the higher place and um and you get you get more and more power so let me just see if there's anything that i want to okay you will see you a lot of times at this stage, the big question is, what do I have to do? And I'm curious if any of you guys have ever asked your, ask that in your prayers. Please, God, please, God, what do I have to do? What is next? What what have I missed? How many people have asked that? I'm really curious. <laughs> because it's in those moments where you can't see it. We don't know what the next step is for ourselves, And it feels like we've done all this work, but there's something left. There must be because it, we haven't got the clear. The time. <laughs> exactly. And in, in women, I know like women who've been doing this work for a long time are like, because we are so fierce and, and male, male, we all carry the feminine, all of us, but I know a lot of women, um, that we're, we're so fierce. We're not going to let go. Once you activate that mother energy in you, it's, it's not going, you're not going to give up. You're not letting go. And you want to know. Um, and so it, sometimes that prevents us from going into sacred union and gnosis, but this is what's happening. This is what the goddess has shown me. You will see yourself whether you're 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 um, watching something on Netflix or whether you're hearing someone else talk about one of their problems, turn on your ears and listen, like she talked about your ears, your eyes, because when you hear it, you won't even believe it. The, the archetypal journey that's playing out in your soul, someone will just come up to you and start talking about it, or you you'll be watching something and all of a sudden you'll realize. It will, it will have a sound to it and it will be trying to get to you. That's how this world speaks to us. It speaks to us in images. And so I want to, I just wanted to say that. So um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, gosh. Oh, I'll, I'll share a little bit about what I've been doing and then we'll do the light body um, activation. So, and I also just had written down the feminine alchemy is the hardest to do. And that's why so few schools have really done this particular work. It's big. All right. So what I've been doing, I just want to share this with you because this is how I work. So when I go, when I'm away, I do, I spend my time between writing, 
going to the inner realms. I spend a lot of time in the realms. Um, that has been activated through. I have a lot of Neptune. Speaking of archetypes, Neptune energy. If you have it in key places, you'll know you're one of those people that it's, you might start out as a creative, but it becomes much more. You can travel the realms because it, they open to you and you can go hours at a time inside. And people might think you're crazy. You need a lot of space to yourself when you work that way because you'll go in. And um, lately when I'm going in, it's all sound current. It's all vibrational download. I don't even have to turn on the images because the images can almost be a distraction. It, it's a complete, um, it's like rain. I'm watching rain right now too on Netflix. It's, it's rain, rain, rain. So it, it comes in and you, and you just will feel your whole body attuning. And then I write. So I'm just sharing this with you to, to understand how these things might be coming in in your life. And I write and write and write. I, I write a couple hours every day for sure, maybe more. So I go between nature. This is my holy trinity, nature, the realms, and writing. And um, and that's my that's my service on this planet. And then when I come out and then I get to speak, speak it. But the main work is really the download. And by that, I'm meaning you you become, you know, once you can carry a certain amount of light, oh, and this is the other thing I want to say, then we'll do light buddy stargate. You're holding it like you, it's in your library now. You're really upgrading your Akashic record. And so that when you're traveling, you're going to places way beyond, way beyond this solar system and meeting with um, higher energies and then bringing it back in. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of quiet, a lot of time away and a, a lot of just connecting what also what's happening I will say is that those of us when you go to the different realms you connect to whoever else is there you're already plugged into whoever's there and so you're forming a matrix on the planet and um in that way we're all connected we communicate that way as well so now think of this this is what I was shown today in the shower when when everything gets pulled offline and that that um you know our did our let's say wi-fi is down everything's gone we will know because we've seen this, that we have that capacity to connect that way on the inside. Like we'll probably just start communicating with people out of necessity because at some point when we experience that, when I'm not making any prediction or anything like that, but that will come at some point when there's a great shift where there will be no internet. And because we're so used to it, we'll just automatically take what was outside and activate it within us and start. And so in that way, it's just a, a, rep, a, a representation of what we really are. But for right now, go to the higher frequencies so that you can communicate with the higher, the higher ups, because they can't really reach us when we're, when we're, we go through our struggles and they're watching over us. And by there, I mean, the, the presence of consciousness the consciousness presence that may show itself to you as a form, but it's also just a feeling and a sound. Um, so the, the, the thing about that is when you do that, you will sometimes feel like you can't go into the world or interact with people because I go pretty high. And the truth is that it, it changes you so much that, um, in order to hold the space, sometimes it takes a while because then you're in entrainment with the world and it's slowly, you begin, those sound waves are slowly going out. Those um, waveforms are going out from your heart and into the world. And, and also those people you love or who you're working with. In my case, I work with a lot of different points all over the planet. I'm in interplane contact with different points of wisdom. You communicate that way as well. And so it's, it's beautiful, but you have to be in the frequency. So I invite you to find your frequency and go into it. That means you're going to have to start assessing how much time you're online, what you're doing online, what kind of focus you give. This is, this is from Magdalene, and this is how we're going to activate those portals. So now I'm going to ask you, we'll do, this will take, we'll give like, let's say three to five minutes to the light body stargate meditation and activation. Actually, I'm going to look down really quick and see. Yeah. I mean, it can be draining. Yeah, I know that I know you do. Exactly. It's so divine. It's if I told you the depth of my hermit phase, I, I often wonder if anyone else has had the hermit phases I've had. And and you know, I, I recently had a um 
a really big communication meeting me at the end of the tunnel. And it's, it's just so beautiful. Don't doubt. However, I be careful not to, if the, if it's the world and it, there's a saying also that isolation is also evil. So if you're isolating because you're in pain, that's a little bit different. You might be in pain while you're being initiated in, in isolation. It's, you just have to find the difference, but it, and it is very challenging. So even when you're in the, the, the light side of initiation and, and you're on your own, there's, there's some heart pangs, longing for love and longing for community. But that community is coming. That, that quote, we are the change. We are truly, you know, there's two different types right now. There's some people that are waiting to be saved. As the victim, you're kind of waiting like someone's going to come. Something's going to save us. I know it. I know it. I know it. The ascension, the masters, someone's coming, you know, the, the, this event, that event. Well, the truth is that the other side to that is that you are the event and that that solar activation is happening within you. And more and more, I'm seeing that when you activate the solar gate that we're going to do right now, the world changes. The dark shadowy archetypes become spirit. And so let's do that right now. So I'm going to ask you to right now. Um, okay. All right. So. Okay. I'm going to have you start. We're going to start by um, just coming back into your I am. This is part of this came in today too. I know I need a sip. Part of this was given special for today. So I'm really excited about this part of them. I, I haven't used this particular um, version and download. So I'm going to ask you to look into your heart and see an X over your heart. We work with X a lot. You're going to see an X and right at the cross points, you're going to see the sun. And it's right over your heart, your central heart space. You're going to see the solar sun. That, that is really the tip of your pyramid, the tip of your divine self. And so I just want you to be in contact with that for a moment. And so now let that sun begin to, it's going to shine through all the elements. The four sections of the, of the X are really the elemental triangles. And we're going to let the sun begin to um, representing the cosmic, the cosmic ether, the, the the divine ether to consume all the elements in its own fire, its own radiance, and its own love. To turn all the elemental energies into a higher frequency within you until now you become the sun. And so now I want you to just come into the sensation of your physical body to feel your limbs, to feel your spine, the very root of your spine. And just bring your awareness into your feet. And then now back up your legs into your sacrum. As you feel it in your sacrum, just let your lower back open. And now up into your solar plexus and your navel. And now up into your heart. Just taking a deep breath in, feeling the power of your breath, the divinity of your breath. And now up into your throat. As you bring your awareness into your throat, bring your awareness to the back of your neck, your shoulders, your, maybe your trapezius muscles, and your throat center, and just see a divine light in your throat center. And now we're going to move up into the soft palate, up through your mouth, just feeling your tongue, on the top of the roof of your mouth, and now up into your pituitary gland at your third eye. Just bring some awareness there. Take a deep breath. And now into your, into your pineal gland, accessing your crown. 
And I see another X, I'm being shown another X, just putting it right over the pineal gland and letting that really, there's a high level of light there, activating the tip of the pyramid through the pineal gland. Okay, and now I'm going to ask you to just imagine that you're stepping up onto a round platform. It's a circle shape and it's big enough to hold your body. Just like remember, I, I think in Star Trek, they used to step onto those, but you're gonna step onto this um, round elevated platform that is big enough to, to host your body. And now you're standing on it. I want you to just imagine that you're standing on it and before you is a huge circle. And this circle, we're standing outside of the circle, but right up to its um, right up to its boundary, right up to its border. And all of those of us who are gathered here right now and into the future are standing on our are all of our platforms around this circle. So each person here, just I'm seeing a huge um circle. Wow. It's like a global meditation, even for people who will see this in the future and who are even on the higher planes joining in with us. So there's this massive circle and the, all of us are standing around it on our platform. And so now we're going to take three breaths. On the third breath, you're going to let your physical body slip off of you and fall through the platform will become a trap door. So the, the platform that you're standing on will open up and your physical form is going to drop into, it's going to drop away. It's going to drop away from you and you will remain in your energy form, your energy body on the platform. So this is three deep breaths on the last exhale. You're going to let your body slip away. And so just taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Again, breathing in. And exhale. Third breath. You're going to breathe in very, very deeply. Breathe in all the way. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. As you exhale, let your physical form release and fall through the trap door. Exhaling. So just take a moment and feel that sensation of being present now, but without your body, your 3D body. I'll give you another opportunity, if this is new to you, to let that body drop away, let your physical body drop away. It becomes really easy once you've experienced it a couple times, but let's do it one more time. This time we'll just do one deep breath, and as you exhale, you imagine the weight of your body becomes more than you're willing to carry, and you let it drop, and it drops through the trap door. So taking a deep breath in, and release your body. And so now standing here, get familiar with feeling this new uh, sensation of being without the limits of time and space. You're still very present. And this is another form of matter, but it's not the densest form. So you're standing here. And you're in this energy body that is has much more capabilities. And so we're all going to, um, we'll do this together, we'll count, and then we're all going to step into the circle at the same time. And then once we're inside the circle, the circle becomes our light body stargate. We'll be given more instructions on how we're going to use this space today. This is a space that has a, a completely different vibration than the world that we're in and that we're accustomed to. It is another version of reality where we exist 
but without the constraints of the ego and our woundedness. And so on the count of three, I'm going to ask everyone to step in with your right foot. You're going to step off the platform in your body, your energy body, and step into the stargate. And so on the count of one, two, three, we're all going to step in and come into this space. And so once you're inside the boundary of the circle, just take a moment to feel the energy. I'm going to call in some some higher energy to be present. I'm calling in right now as the initiator at this space and this activation and ritual. I really call in. We ask to call from the frequency of our heart, the divine love and devotion, the power and strength and wisdom of who we truly are, we call in the supreme, supernal, cosmic, divine mother presence to be with us in this space. We ask that you keep us with your wisdom here and bless us with your presence on this day of the Magdalene Stargate portal. So we just all take a moment and bow to the Divine Mother and thank her in her energetic presence for being a part of the Stargate today. As her wisdom is a blanket of light surrounding us. She's like the goddess and seeing the Egyptian goddess of the sky surrounding us in love. And so now we call upon the core, the core energy of Gaia and Gaia Sophia. We call upon the core of our planet, which contains the wisdom and the divine magic and truth of who we really are. And so we ask that the goddess, this divine goddess that has given us life and given us sustenance, come with us into this stargate, that her energy, as we walk on the earth in this portal at this time too, we ask that her energy be present with us and that the... um, the elemental life force within this great grand circle begin to pulse with the life of Gaia and the life of the planet. Magdalene and Gaia are very, very, very closely connected. They are on some levels one in the same and they work together very, very closely. So we thank the presence of the elementals for coming into this higher um frequency with us on this day and we're going to just feel the ground beneath us there's a we're we're standing on holy ground and in my vision it's going back and forth between light there's a there's a light in an evening so i'm in the evening version but the light version is also here as well the ground is pulsing and in my version the ground is pulsing and there's grass but there's also soil there's also earth you can feel the earth you can almost smell it and it has it has divine it's infused with divine love in this realm the elements are pure divine love they're joined with the goddess and so now we ask to activate that solar feminine stargate in each one of our hearts consciously as we are in this space. You might just take a moment and say, I am before me, I am behind me, I am in the left, I am in the right, I am in the left, I am in the right. And so now we're working with the sacred feminine trinity, the cosmic, the earth, the elemental, and our own heart these three points in this trinity. And so now we're going to just, what I saw unfolding before us today is that today, especially on this Magdalene Stargate, there are stones, pillars in this Stargate. And my vision is that uh, as under a night sky and there's so many stars and constellations out and we can see the Milky Way and there's, there's a, big bright moon in the sky and the pillars are these stone pillars these earthen pillars are there's seven major pillars in this space 
And so now as you become aware of the pillars in this stargate, they have, they're alive and they're speaking. They have sound frequency. Each pillar has its own vibration of sound current that is coming in through it. And that sound current connects into the records, into the realms, and accesses information from our timelines that is um, that is available to us when we are in this divine space. And so just take a moment and sit with that for a moment. You might just see if you can see the pillars and then allow them to speak to you it, through through um, you know through silence through the through the um, the inner realms of word, the divine silent word, or the impression as it comes in. There's a lot of light around us that's like a daylight too. We're really, I'm, I'm, and this is really interesting. I'm seeing day and night at the same time, which I, I don't think I've ever experienced here before, but it's showing us the sacred union of masculine and feminine, of light and dark. And that is what this space is about. That's why I couldn't just go into night. The light is we're wrapped in the blanket of day, but in the core, we're in the night, we're in the dark womb, and we're with these great beings. These be these stones are actually beings. And so now I'm going to have you open your heart to the stone pillars. If you think of Stonehenge, it's a similar kind of thing because the, the pillars access certain um, constellations and energies and realms. And so just feel in your heart the communication you might feel coming from one of the pillars. a love that flows into you, that calls you. In the new world, we call, we have calling codes. We call each other with love. We send out, when we need something, we send out to a being with love and they can hear us. And these pillars also will be calling to each one of us to the pillar that we're meant to receive from today. And so just slowly beginning to Feel yourself in this vibration and, and become aware of all the others, many, many beings in this portal today with us. This is a collective Magdalene Stargate. We're in the heart and we're in this space where there's no ego. So when you think about the world and you think about all, it's hard to even talk about the world in this space. I'll keep it brief. The issues we have, the wars we have, the, the, the social issues, the identity issues we have can only be take place in that place. When you come into this space, all of us, all of us, regardless of our skin color, our gender, our race, our religion, we, we understand that we're part of this great union of soul energy. We each have a lineage. There's a rainbow lineage on the earth right now. But in this place, we're aware, aware of that lineage. All the war that's happening, we see that it's a war of the mind and the ego. And that there's a force struggling to keep people trapped in that. To speak the language of the goddess, we when we step into this place, it's a different it's a different access and it's more aligned with the truth. We see who we really are. And so just take a moment to experience each other from this place. There's love and there's instantaneous communication. You might even recognize people. You might make soul contact. This is a great um, activation to practice the light body stargate when you need to be in contact with others. You can call them through their higher self and their monadic consciousness into this space and have a meeting. And so just see if there's anyone in here right now that you feel extra connected to. You'll recognize it. It's so beautiful. When we go in, when I when I work with my ladies, we go in and, and then we start it. We always do this before we start any session because it brings everything way up. It raises the bar. It raises the frequency. You can still discuss wounds. You can still discuss outside issues. But the power that's available to you and the light that's available to you is so great. It's, 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 it's beyond what, what those who have not experienced it could even understand. So now, before we, at the, 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 
as we begin to come to towards the end of this um, meditation and activation, I want you to feel the pillar that you are most called to. I want you to feel it through your breath. I'm talking a lot. So um, normally when we do this, we go and we spend a lot of time in silence and things happen organically, but your breath is key because we move on our breath in the space. So just feel your breath. We realize we're sharing breath with others and that actually communication is traveling on our breath. It's so profound. Everything travels on the breath. Light travels on the breath. The holy word travels on the breath. I'm going to have you now go to the pillar that you're being called to. We've got this beautiful night sky, so much grace, so much magnetism in this space. The, the positive currents of the moon that hold the higher magnetic currents are really, really here. And there, and then we have the stars that give us the solar light and that are beaming so much energy and frequency into this space. So I want you to slowly walk to the pillar that you feel called to. And today we're gonna, I'm going to have you put both hands on the pillar of stone. The stone is alive and it will, once you touch the stone pillar that you're called to, you should feel your heart begin to open. It should open your heart really in the most beautiful way. You, you feel it flowing through your arms and back into your heart center. And so just take a moment here. I'll be quiet for a few seconds. feel the elements coming through you. The elements are really communication and sound. And we're in the higher element mental frequency now. So the elements are free. They also stepped into the Stargate and they're free from their 3D bodies. And so now they can really communicate with us. And um, water just came in immediately as I said that. There's now a, a, a body of water with us. that's reflecting the light of the stars and the moon. And so now I'm gonna have you bring your right hand to your heart and keep your left hand on the pillar. And so you're gonna really, really activate your heart with your right hand and receive through your, your feminine channel, the left side of your being. We're gonna ask to receive the message from Magdalene in this space. From her soul, from her highest, highest, highest domain of truth. As a gift in this space, we ask to learn through energy and frequency what it is that we are being called to tend to in our life right now, what practice, what healing, so that we can play our part in this next coming phase on the planet so that we can be available for the divine feminine masters to work with us, the goddesses to work with us, so that they're able to work through our heart. Remember, all beings need human form to work with, especially in this realm. And so when we make our heart available, it's not about having anyone else occupy your body, but your words, your feelings, your actions, your creativity become service to divine love and the law of love. The stones are really powerful. Keep them in your memory. There's one for each of your seven major portals of light in your body. So whichever one you were called to, I'm going to ask you to just ask which one you're called to. If it has a name, 
if it has a planetary um, archetype, a Mercury, a Moon, a Sun, a Venus, a Saturn, a Jupiter, a Mars, you may even be accessing if you're really powerful Pluto or Uranus or um, Neptune. Neptune is really here in presence, holding the whole. Neptune is the goddess of the imagination and it keeps us, it's keeping the space right now. And so that energy of the highest, the highest vibration of Neptune is here. And so now I want you to just um, really be at peace. Hear the archetype that you spoke with. That will be a key to what level of consciousness you'll be working with. You might just take a moment, ask what your gift is. If you're not clear on it, what you're to do, ask to receive as a gift today. What do I do? What am I to do now? When we work with this energy, our words become so sacred that we can't. We speak in unison with the whole. The soul groups that are doing this, we're all united. We don't. We never work out of step. Once you come into this, is a new level of consciousness for humanity that most humans do not yet understand. Even though you hear the word unity kind of thrown around a lot, and we are one. But what it means is that we understand that we're a collective. And that everything we do has an effect for everyone else. And so there's the utmost respect and honor for every being here. And there's a willingness to sometimes surrender and let someone else take up. And we work in harmony. We're music. It becomes a symphony. And so I ask that you receive this going forward to know that you're not alone. And and you don't have to fear. When you step into this vibration, you will have a um, a body of love we call it when we do light body woman work it's a body of love that now is capable of really going into the realms and and being of service in this work you may at times be still be taken into that place of quiet and alone time where it feels like you're not being called into this space and that's okay sometimes we have to be completely alone without anything to grab on to to release something and that's a very particular energy but other than that no you can always step into this space and so now i'm going to have have everyone just send everyone in this space divine love i'm sending out huge huge blessings for all of us here just get a feeling of the collective we thank the pillars for holding the energy and holding the akashic record and holding the streams divine streams of power And the reason they're showing up as stones is because stone is where the highest, highest, highest of the unseen can connect with the deepest, deepest, deepest of the physical. Stone is like the beginning. And so we're going to just take a moment and um, integrate all of this. I ask you to just bring it in and make it a part of your own inner kingdom. Feel very at peace. Send out love to the world from this space, activating the true divine feminine of Magdalene and understanding that her alchemy is the alchemy of this day. It comes in many different um, names and archetypes, but this is the work of our time. And so I bow to each and every one of you. I thank the soul group of Magdalene for being here. And I thank... um, all the divine presence of the divine mother and of the planet and of each and every one of ours individual heart consciousness for being here at this time. And so that being said, um, we'll close out this activation and this light body stargate ritual for today. There's many ways we can do this ritual and we can do it much quicker too, but it felt really powerful to go into that space. Um, we're just going to kind of let it, um, let your own physical body now integrate with that, bring it back in and know that you're safe and know that everything we talked about today has been received. If it's right for you, if it's not right for you, let it go. Many, 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 many places you can connect with for information right now. This is only one. And so this is a longest stream I've done in a long time. But I think I'll look down and um, and say hi to you for just a couple minutes because I want to make sure if I did miss anything, I see it. And it's been really, really powerful to have you here. And I hope you were able to take something from this today. Um, 
If you enjoyed it, please share and let people know. I'll be coming on when I can. I'm not going to make a promise because of some of the things that have been going on. Um, my videos seem to be back up and um, I'm going to come on when I can. I'm certainly going to be coming on soon. Um, but that being said, I'm going to take a peek. So glad you could join us. So great to, oh, all right. I'm being reminded by my son. <laughs> I have mom duties. Okay. So great to see you. I almost, I saw your comment on you on, on one of my videos and I actually almost went to respond to it today before we started, but I was hoping you would find the, the live stream. Absolutely beautiful. Did, and how did anybody, um, experience, does anyone want to say how the, if, did you make it in the Stargate? Did you feel it? Did anybody feel it? Oh, this was awesome. Yay. Yay. Um, that was amazing. Uh, that was amazing. I've been reading and hearing about stones a lot lately. Beautiful. The really that that imagery and archetype is really powerful. Really powerful. Um, if you've seen um, Outlander, yeah, Outlander. She travels in time through the stone. It's really powerful. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of goodness in there. The stone message is: you are here to heal and be healed. Chiron, nice, <laughs> nice. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yes, yay, so great to see you. Yes, 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 nine, 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 nine. Yep, yeah. all right, I love that. Okay, um, is there any, was there any question around that? You can come back and leave comments. If anybody's seeing this into the future and you made it this far, yay, oh good, I'm so, doesn't it feel good? feels really good. When I work with people these days, we all carry so many wounds and so, we all have so many triggers that we have to do this to, to get any real work done. Once you do this, you can't, it's really rare that you can slip back out of it. So when, if you're working with people or you have something important, tune in like this. It, it's not, it's, it's a huge difference. Um, Sedona feels it. Yeah. Oh my God. You're in Sedona. Wow. Oh, I'd love to hear about that and hear what you're up to. I think you might have been there last time I saw you. Um, the, wow. Oh, wow. Ring of Brugar on Orkney. Please forgive my pronunciation. That's got to be from, do you want to um, explain it to me? I know. Is that from one of the movies? I was in the Ring of Brugar. Is that Lord of the Rings? I'm not, it's not coming to me right now, but that sounds pretty cool. I'll give it a thumbs up. Um, Divine Guide. Oh, it's so good to be here with all of you. Um, all right. The stones were incredibly powerful. That's what I thought too. You know, the stones, I it's funny, I work with stones a lot, but that is the first time I've ever used the stones in the Stargate. That came in for today. That was Magdalene. That came in today. Stonehenge, Orion, yes, yeah, absolutely. Orion stones were as tuning forks. I was juddering. Thank you. Yeah, they're two. They are tuning forks. Thank you for bringing in that language. Absolutely. Okay, everyone. Okay, come back and leave comments. I'll put the comments on. Much, much, much love. And happy Magdalene feast day. Happy Magdalene Stargate. I bow to each and every one of you. You know. This is the world, um, the world, it, we, I could talk a little bit more about the world. It's so, so compressed and it's going to become more so. What, what I learned when I was away is because then I went back into media and watched a lot of it and really, really pay attention there. We'll, we'll talk more about that late, later. In fact, the Lionsgate portal is going to be a, a good opportunity to talk a little bit more about that. Be aware of your energy and how you feel. This is the energy you want to be in. You can still do everything you need to do. You can function as a person. You will be way more productive. You will have your word will begin to activate. And we can go on and on about that. Okay. All right. Oh, beautiful. Okay. All right. I bow to all of you. I just don't want to go. I'll see you soon. All right. Namaste. Love you.